friends, Sarah from Sweet Scents from the Dollhouse. <clears throat> if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, Waxy, as always, welcome back. Usually, I do my empties in the month of whatever. Um, lately, I am a teeny tad behind schedule, so I decided to film part two of my November empties today. I apologize that I'm uploading empties well into December for the previous month. Um, but I am slowly but surely getting back on track. I've still been melting a boatload of wax, even though I'm not uploading frequently. I've got so many amazing blends to talk about today. Um, if you watch part one of my November empties, I did mostly commercial and Scentsy wax, <clears throat> Bath and Body Works products that I finished in the month of November, so on and so forth. Um, if you haven't watched that video, check it out. Today I'm going to be talking mostly about vendor wax, but I have gone ahead and finished a couple more Scentsy bars and some sensational stuff as well as Bath & Body Works. Um, the first thing I wanted to mention was one of my subscribers and friends, Cindy and Marissa, sent me a whole bunch of wax for my birthday from Regina Saskatchewan from a company called Rooney's. Um, she included two of these uh, single bar soaps. This was really nice. In, the scent Monkey Farts. This one had very little to no scent in it, um, but I do like the soap blends. Um, what was the other one? I think the first bar that she sent me was Lavender Sandalwood or something like that. That one had more of a scent to it, but this was really nice and gentle on the skin, so I finished one of those. I also finished one Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow Candle, sort of-ish. The first burn, I got very little scent out of this bad boy. The second burn was amazing. The third burn, however, the wick started to drown and I got a whole bunch of a sooty, nasty mess. I couldn't for the life of me keep these wicks lit. Um, and my man friend came in and he's funny, like he's totally into home fragrance. He's like, your house always smells so beautiful. I've made his house smell beautiful. He's like, out of all of the smelly shit that you've exposed me to, that candle is disgusting. And I didn't realize how nasty smelling it got, but oh yeah, it was really bad. I shouldn't really complain because I've had a lot of luck with Bath & Body Works lately. I used to have candles like this on the regular, and that's why I stopped buying Bath & Body Works. So I guess when you get the odd dud, you shouldn't really complain because we all know Bath & Body Works could be worse and they are trying to get better. Um, the next one I finished was Sensationals Pumpkin blah, 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 blah. Pumpkin Marshmallow Frosting. Um, this one's nice. I'm not such a fan of it on its own. I think I bought two or three of them but it's a great blending scent and the pumpkin in it isn't heavy whatsoever. It's just like a nice creamy bakery scent. So if you see these at your local Walmart, pick it up as a blender. It's really nice. I finished three more Scentsy Bars. I finished Atlantic Air in my laundry room. This is really nice. I have a scent scores in queue coming up on that one. I finished Green Calcite. This was one of my favorites out of the crystal collection that we saw from Scentsy in the summer. This one was super powerful. I loved this in my laundry room. However, it's no longer available. Last but not least, I finished a bar of Cozy Cardigan. I absolutely love this scent. The performance on it is great. I would definitely, definitely stock up on this when they do the 10% off sale. This also doesn't scream winter to me at all. So if you haven't, you must. This is one of my favorites from Scentsy this season. I really hope they keep that one around because, well, even still, you can put it in your subscription box and keep it around. <coughs> Why do I keep calling it a subscription box? What the hell is it? Your Scentsy Club subscription, whatever it is. That will definitely be in it, as well as I will buy a, probably 12 of them at the 10% off sale. Now, let's get into some vendor wax. First up is the bathing garden. Um, I'm really frustrated with the bathing garden. You guys, comment down below. Um, 
Do you guys love the bathing garden? I have so much bathing garden that is still not cured. And I bought these, um, like in March and May. So I've been waiting a very long time to melt this wax. And maybe I need to wait a full year, but it's leaving a lot to be desired. So the first one was coconut crystal cake. I really did like this sample. I have this in a full bar. The sample seems cured, but the bar itself isn't. So I'm going to save that until the summer and hopefully have better luck with it. It was really nice. It's a great, just straight creamy coconut scent. Uh, I just wish it didn't take... 10 million years to cure. Who stole the tarts? I cut this big, huge cookie into thirds, and the scent notes say butter soaked apples, cinnamon, bourbon, sugar, and whipped cream. My word, this smelt like heaven on earth. On cold, but warming, it did nothing. And I believe I bought this in March. Clowning around is the Bathing Garden Circus Concession Blends. This was nice. Again, not overly strong, and I bought this in March of 2018. Not my favorite Circus Concession Blend. Um, you get better throw out of, what's that Bath and Body Works candle? That's like Circus Concession, Boardwalk, the candle. Just buy that, save yourself the frustrations. I would not purchase that again. Uh, fried candy donut. This is a really nice, um, oh, yeah, super nice. There's so many different vendors, um, that do this, like, berry donut scent. Oh, what's the one that I'm thinking of? Vintage Chic Scents does one, Super Tarts does one. Um, again, it was okay, but... I wouldn't place another order for it. So that definitely won't be a repurchase. I'm I'm really struggling with the bathing gardens. If you guys have any bathing garden favorites, comment down below or how long you usually let them cure. I have a huge crate of bathing gardens that I'm just so like meh about. Almost tempted to go on the Facebook group and sell it all off and get my money back. I'm that disappointed. But perhaps I should wait and be a little bit more patient and give it a chance because, I mean, nobody does presentation better than the bathing garden. But the wax itself with a ridiculously long cure time and then kind of like meh performance, I'm kind of take it or leave it. Let me know your thoughts below. Next, Ava's Country Cupboard. You guys know if you've watched my channel for a while, I love Lindsay's Bakery Blends. So Ultimate Zucchini is one of my faves. I have a bakery bag of this that I'm curing and hopefully going to feature in my December melting basket. That reminds me, I need to start pulling some of my Ava's collection. I finished Blackberry Butter Jam Cookies. Uh, this is my favorite um, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie Blend from Ava's. It's super creamy, that blackberry's on point, and it throws like a beast. <clears throat> Pumpkin crunch cake pops and cream cheese frosting. I ordered this in August, and it was okay. I don't know that I would order this again. All on its own, it was just meh. But you could use it as a blending scent and come up with something a little bit more powerful and creative on your own. I don't want to trash it because it was all right. It just, it was, yeah, I'll just say it was all right. Better as a blending scent than on its own. This one I also ordered in August, which is Caramel Apple Campfire Marshmallow. I was so excited about this one because on cold, it smelled beautiful. Perhaps I didn't cure it for long enough. It was one of those big, beautiful maple leaves. It just, it did hardly nothing unless I was standing like within two feet of the warmer. This was very surprising to me because usually I don't find Ava's requires a whole boatload of cure time. And usually I have bang in performance with her blends. 
I finished one of these milk and cookies from Southbound Soap, which is now Southbound Candle Company. This is sweet caramelized milk and old-fashioned sugar cookies. This was poured in September of 2017. Banging. Oh, my word. I love Southbound. It's been a long, long, long time since I grabbed a Southbound D-Stash or placed a Southbound order. I definitely have to get on that because her blends are amazing as well. Because Ella's been sick with the daycare plague, like literally non-stop, never-ending cold, just when you think it's over, the sniffles come back and the dry cough and the heaving and the sleepless nights. It's just first year of daycare is a disaster. So I finished the 50-50 brick from Barrett's Wax Crafts. This is Snoozy Melts plus the Sinus Soothers. Um, out of all of the kind of sinus relief blends that I've ever tried, this one is by far my favorite and I think it's probably because it has that snoozy melt mixed in it. Love this. Long overdue to place a Barrett's order as well. As soon as I'm not Christmas broke, I will be on that. Um, next from... Oh, let's do Rose Girls. I finished the Crooked Broomstick. I ordered this from the August pre-order. Really loved this. This was Cedarwood, Amber, Jasmine, and Vanilla Sandalwood. I, th I think I have two of them. So I treated myself to this one in the month of November, but I'm saving the other one because it was just one of her little chunk muffins because this threw amazing and with a short cure time from August to November, I believe the Crooked Broomstick will chase me out of the house if I melt the other one in like even January or February. So, loved that one. Um, also from Rose Girls, I just wanted to do some of my like honorable mentions, even though I didn't finish it. Rose Girls Nick Champa is amazing. I love this one. It's not overly strong. It's sweet. It reminds me of head shops in like Vancouver. Oh, yeah, my good old days. The days when Sarah was wild and crazy and transient and let's just leave it at that. <laughs> this reminds me of head shops in Van City and yeah, miss those days. But this is beautiful. It's sweet. It's powerful, man. I Usually with Rose Girls, I'll admit I'm not a big fan of her mini melters, but just one mini melters of her Neg Chompa throws for hours. Love this one. Super Darts. Oh, man, I finished a bunch of Super Darts. Um, Solo, the body wash little sample that she sent. It was nice. I can't even tell you what the scent was like. Um, and the little jar is so small. I, mm, it's nice when they give you little samples of their body care. This was her sugar scrub. Um, Grace tried it on her sensitive skin and didn't break out. So that's all I really needed to know. I think with her body care, when I order something, I'm going to order it in a scent that I really love. Um, nice to know that it was, you know, gentle on sensitive skin. I finished Ginny. I'm sorry I can't give you the scent notes on this, but this is really nice. Um, not something that I would have chosen on my own, but I would reorder that. Rory. This was sent to me from Amber a long time ago in a random act of kindness, my girl in California. I loved this one. I have passed up Rory so many times, I can't even remember what it is. It's uh, persimmon cookies and something. Peach is something fruity. I would have never ordered this, never picked this for myself, but I love this. And I love Amber for that. She always sends me these things that I'm like, ew, gross. I would definitely reorder that. So thank you, Amber. I finished Flying Monkey. This is a really nice kind of, I don't know if it's freshy. It's not laundry. It's, um, I believe it's a Veda shampoo or something like that. It's really nice. I would definitely reorder this. Love getting these little samples of things you wouldn't typically choose for yourself because it gets you to step outside of your comfort zone and try something unique. So I would definitely order Flying Monkeys and melt that in my bathroom. 
Um, I melted a sample of the Omen. I love this scent. I love the Omen on its own or Super Tars Omen blends. I've never, ever, ever melted one that I didn't enjoy. And then Hedwig. This one was sent to me in the sample as well, and I've heard tons of buzz about this, but for whatever reason, I don't know if it was just a bad batch, but this didn't throw for me worth a damn. And I was so disappointed because it's like a chai tea blend. I was really excited to try this one. So perhaps I need to order a clam because I know people rave about this one. I finished a band bag of Texas Chainsaw. This is caramel dipped apples, warm hot maple toddy, and just a touch of French baguette. I love this one. I've been melting this all through October and into November. I also have another, oh, what is it? A sidekick of Texas Chainsaw. I ordered two of them by accident, one in the in the band bag, one in the sidekick, but really I'm not that disappointed because Texas Chainsaw is delicious. I finished White Christmas, which is one of my favorites, and you will definitely see this in my December melting basket. It's peppermint frosted cranberry serendipity and vanilla bean gelato. This is probably going to be one of two token Christmas scents here at the dollhouse. I melted Dobby, which is linen sock, ocean mist, and dune grass. Love this. I need this in like a super pan. This is amazing. Probably one of my favorite Oh, hell yeah. It's my favorite freshy blend from Super Tarts. So far, because I haven't tried them all, but so far, Dobby is my favorite. And then the other token Christmas scent, actually, I melt this one year-round. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you know that Miracle on 34th Street is always in my empty baskets, even in July. And I know people must think I am off my rocker. Because this is fresh ball and leaves, creamy pumpkin pie, topped with toasted marshmallows. I love this. It's just such a delicious comfort scent. I melt this year round, but that will definitely be on my melting list for the holiday season. Then some honorable mentions from Super Tarts. In the month of November, I melted some of uh, the Pacific Northwest. This is from the America Collection. This is Raindrop Sweater Weather, Birch, Beechwood, and Washington Apples. If you were looking for something like knock you on your ass, super unique, try PNW. This is amazing. Loved that in the month of November. The only one that was a super bummer to me, because I had my two honorable mentions of favorites, surprises with the uh, Rose Girls Night Champa as well as PNW from Super Darts. Um, surprisingly enough, Children of the Corn was probably my least favorite this month that I tried. Children of the Corn from Super Tarts is a blend of kettle corn, cotton candy, and Mexican fried ice cream. Um, on its own, this is kind of gross. I'm not sure that I like this. It's almost like a creamy vomit scent all on its own. It's... I don't know. To my nose anyways, I am not a fan. I have been using it as a blending scent just to be rid of this fucking nastiness, but it's it's few and far between that I, I'd melt a Super Tarts blend that I don't like. Children of the Corn was definitely a giant thumbs down for this cat this month. And yeah, that's it. Those are my empties for part two of November. Comment down below what were your favorites and least favorites in the month of November. What were you melting? I would love to hear all about it. Also, I would love to see your Black Friday hauls because I wasn't hauling wax on Black Friday. I would love to live vicariously through your hauls, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Send me your social media links because I want to see what you're melting. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.